So before we get started, I uh, wanted to frame the problem a little bit. This is the Fly Products Eclipse, which I really, really like. This is an awesome, very, very light machine. Uh, it gets its lightness by its so-called minimalist design. There's not a whole lot to this thing that is not absolutely necessary. And that is uh, why probably we're having so much trouble figuring out how to get a reserve uh, mounted on this particular paramotor. So I've added this piece of cardboard here to help give a little contrast and uh, better show these straps what we have to deal with. Um, there are two containers that Fly Products provides. I'm going to go into both of them. I have bought each one of them and I have them here and we'll go into them in a little more detail and uh, that will help explain what we hope to do and hope to achieve in this video. So here's the problem. We have the typical swing arm here. We have some straps, but only straps. There's no nice uh, buckle arrangement here that's provided to, uh, to attach um, a container that isn't purpose made for this model of paramotor. Um, okay, so hopefully that gives you an idea of the problem um, and we'll go from here. All right, I have here the two rescue containers that Fly Products provides. Uh, there are a couple of others for their other products, but this, these two fit either the Eclipse on the left or the Rider Harness, which is on the right. The Rider Harness container is the first one that I purchased uh, per suggestion of the people that I bought it from here in the United States. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the reason was for not suggesting the Eclipse uh, version, but it might be from uh, what we'll talk about in a moment. This particular container is uh, very nicely made of uh, neoprene material, so it's stretchy. It takes a little bit to get it, the uh, rescue chute into the container, but it's probably the case for any container you might purchase. Um, now, the great thing about this is that uh, it has the usual, or what I've been accustomed to finding as the usual uh, type of uh, uh, an attachment here for the handle. It has Velcro, uh, pretty strong Velcro here. It has this nicely designed uh, piece of um, plastic, tough plastic material that goes through the little loops that come up through here so that all of this is uh, you know, when you're flying around, when you're handling the paramotor, it's all well protected. And when you need to pull this thing, it's going to take a bit of force. But all of these materials are very uh, well made and uh, fit together well and are really nicely secure, at least from what I can tell. So that is the rider harness. Um, I will point out the major problem to me with this harness, I'm sorry, with this uh, um, rescue container is that for the Eclipse, there is no purpose-built method for attaching this to the Eclipse harness. And uh, really, I could find no way to, to do this um, that would work well, even if I bought additional buckles and things like that. It's just not made for it. There's not enough harness there to find places to attach this. So that was the major problem with this. Otherwise, I probably would have gone with this one. Retails for $85 here in the U.S. This is the purpose-built container for the Eclipse. This is all also pretty well made. Uh, it's much lighter. It does have stretchy material, and I was able to, uh, for the most part, fit the reserve into this uh, container. By the way, I am using the Ozone Angel as a reserve. Now, here is the problem with this particular container. This is the handle that the container came with. It is made of, very, my opinion, very flimsy plastic. There is no Velcro attachment points here or on the container itself. So in my opinion, pretty obvious, I think, that when this is all put together with even minor use, uh, minor handling, normal handling of the paramotor, uh, this is going to most likely detach and uh, who knows what will happen after that. Something very unwelcome, I'm sure. Um, so this arrangement to me is, is not acceptable 
uh, for uh, use and then for dependability and having this thing uh, be ready for you later on down the road when you might need it. Um, the good thing about this bag though is that it does have the purpose designed, purpose built attachments that are going to work very, very well integrated with this particular paramotor, the Eclipse. So we have two nice containers, generally, uh, from Fly Products. But the one that I really need to work that was purpose-built for the Eclipse has a problem, and the other container has parts that will solve that problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this part, just the lip here of this container that has the really nice handle and all the other nice features right here that I like. I'm going to take that off and replace the part, same parts here on this container bag with those and kind of make a Frankenstein of the two that I hope will uh, work really well for the Eclipse. First thing we're going to do is for the uh, rider container, we're going to take the piece that I described earlier off. This is the piece we want to retain and move to the Eclipse container model. So this handy little tool here, which uh, allows uh, Dina to cut the threads and uh, in a, a very nice way, take this thing off. So we have the attachment point on the, the flap from the old harness off now. You can see we left a little bit of the, I would call it a hem, I think Dina called it something else. Uh, we left that out there uh, so that we can overlay what's on the Eclipse bag once we attach it. Now we're taking the same pieces off of the Eclipse bag. Same idea. Okay, so this did give me a little bit of a problem. My machine really didn't care for the plastic underneath, therefore it it didn't sew perfectly, but um, I, I am not a professional seamstress, but generally I think this went together pretty well. It does maintain its um, integrity. Um, it is very strong and- uh, Think it's gonna work? I think it's gonna work. All right, so another issue we have to address is that these holes don't align perfectly. So what we're going to do is put another set of grommets in underneath here, pretty much where you see marked right here. Something like that. Okay, so now we have a matching set of holes that line up with the, uh, the piece that we took from the other container. So I think we're ready to add the reserve. <laughs> 